welcome you once again to today's December edition of Autism and Face Yoga. Thank you for joining me. Autism Connect and myself, Minal Portnus, look forward to meeting you each month, where to, together we are exploring, we're experiencing and participating. That's the objective. Today's topic is Autism, Face Yoga, and your questions. The Ayana Face Yoga are a series of asanas or ex exercises for all on the autism spectrum, for caregivers, for family and friends. So let's start with our positive yes, the face yoga yes. How do we do that? For those joining us for the first time, we say yes in an exaggerated format, and that's called the face yoga, yes. So how do you do that? You open your mouth, and then exaggerated, yes, extend, extend. Let's try it together. Yes. One more time. Open your mouth. Yes, wonderful. Now some of us need a little assistance. So why don't you take the two index fingers or you can place your fingers at the corners of their mouth. Ask them to gently just open their mouth and say yes and stretch the corners of their lips out towards and relax. Let's try that again. Open your mouth. Place your fingers or their fingers at the corners of their mouth and ask them to say yes and stretch full. Yes. to you reach? And relax. Good job done. Just tap. Tap. That's very good. The face yoga exercises are scientifically researched using the 57 muscles of the face, the neck, and the scalp, the facial muscles. The first question for today has been put across as why and how? Mouth isolation movements, question mark. Isolating the muscles that control the mouth with various exercises can have a positive effect on overall speech quality. For those who have weak or weakened muscles. Additionally, to those on the autism spectrum, also Bell's palsy, for instance where a facial exercise regime is designed to tone muscles to improve speech. This speech therapy program begins with warming up, then adding resistance to these exercises. Focus facial muscle movements with the 57 facial muscles of the face the neck and the scalp. So this is like a basket of how we address um, mouth isolation movements through the face yoga exercise routine or regime that is designed per se for that. Um, the next question, interesting. How face yoga address possible problems associated with autism? They go on to say eye movements, Coordination, lazy eye, difficulty following an object with eyes. So my answer would be Ayana face yoga technique isolates the 57 muscles, right? Face, neck, scalp. With a routine designed for the eyes and the surrounding muscles, the regime focuses on 
the orbicular is ocular round muscles of the eye they called the optic nerve of course which is deep inside but still there is a um, a sort of connection where you address it the zygomatic minor and major muscles you know the posseris and even the temporalis to that extends even the frontalis so these are the muscles which are addressed now the objective is to increase increase the blood circulation increase oxygenation and muscle tone in layman's words i would say overall cell health for instance tracking an object with eyes or visual defensiveness that's the objective repetitive instructions of the exercise sequence is seen helping spatial visual processing issues like repeated blinking eye contact so of course things take time there is a method that has to be followed but in a nutshell this is what it is please tell me how could face yoga improve an autistic person's life my personal opinion and experience is that following the ayana face yoga exercise regime there have been changes seen in people with various spectrum disorders the repetitiveness interaction with the face yoga therapist and also where possible at different stages group interactions or interface we saw improvements in areas of an individual's life example with improvements in issues related to eye contact can improve social skills and with it self esteem and overall improvement in the quality of life that would be my personal opinion opinion through the experience that we have flown through or gone through with face yoga anti aging and regenerative medicinal impact of face yoga is the next question our experience is that it offers face lift to sunkenize dark circles under eye bags sagging neck muscle and some conditions that find a natural rejuvenation with specific facial muscle regime a routine an exercise routine okay which is again designed to address this particular focal point collagen is a natural filler to check against wrinkles and sagging of skin face yoga proves highly effective to address this issue and this is a quote that has been given by a regenerative medicine expert dr prabhu mishra once again let's do a quick yes so what do we do we're going to open our mouth and yes relax one more time ah uh, yes perfect you look good so if you need help please take and place their index fingers at the corners of their mouth 
or you can place your fingers. That's perfectly fine. Ask them to open their mouth, and if they can't, just help them open their mouth. Open them, and then ask them to say yes. If you need to stretch their lips, either with your fingers or with your index fingers, and make them say yes. Let's try that again. Either place your fingers at the corners of their mouth. Help them open their mouth, ah, and then, yes, relax, and just stand. Excellent, good job done. Tap, tap, just right now. Perfect. Next question. <laughs> Can face yoga relieve jet lag? So before taking a long flight, I have many of my past participants who swear that they feel rejuvenated and they're glowing when they get off the flight after doing a quick face yoga capsule. So let's go back to the question. And face yoga relieve jet lag. So before taking a long flight, some face yoga and face meditation practices can indeed help to counteract the symptoms of jet lag. Long flights lead to stiffen facial muscles. Again, facial muscles, we're talking about the face, talking about the neck, and we're talking about the Grimacing, using your facial muscles are excellent to relieve facial bloating and reduce fatigue and stress, especially when you're having those 21 hour flights. The increase in facial blood circulation and oxygenation helps remove slug, sluggishness with a refreshing effect, okay? So it doesn't matter what exercises you're doing, do a quick capsule, a quick face yoga capsule, just before getting off the flight. Um, ideally, do your face yoga capsule, go and splash some water on your face, come back, just you know, sit down, breathe in, breathe out, and then you're ready for landing and you're ready to make the day. Okay, so once again, the yes. Ah, uh, yes. Excellent. One more time. Ah, uh, yes. Stretch, 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 yes. Stop. Let's help those who need help. Place your or their fingers. Open the mouth. And stretch their lips, yes. Good job. Welcome once again to those who have just joined us. My name is Minal Portnas. I am an evangelist in a new age technique using face yoga. At Ayana Wellness, we have reinvented face yoga for rehabilitation, mental health, anti-aging, stress, and uh, augmented it into neuro rehabilitation. Face yoga is a simple, non-invasive way from the inside out using your 57 muscles, facial muscles of the face, the neck and the scalp. Okay, a quick warm up. Start by sniffing. Sniffing. Then wrinkling your nostrils. For those who help, need help, place your fingers at the corners and tell them to just press, release, press, release, or be a rabbit 
uh, you know, that it's fun. It also will achieve what we're trying to do. Sniffling and the nose, perfect. Then raise your upper lip, your upper lip. Raise it, one more time. Raise it, raise it. If somebody needs help, raise your fingers. Ask him to push up gently, push his lip. But ideally, try and ensure that he's making the efforts. Okay, place. Direct him in the manner that you want to achieve a raised lip. Hold the position. Relax. Perfect. Now, this is easy. Smile without showing your teeth. You know that, you know the yes, so that's part of it. Extend, extend, extend. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Okay. Smile without showing your teeth. Smile. Doing good. Extend. Excellent. And relax. Now, we're going to smile with that teeth, but we're going to really extend the corners of the mouth to touch our ears. Exaggerated. Excellent. And again. Once again, smile. Showing your teeth. Now, if somebody needs help, place your fingers and tell them to just smile. Analyze. Now, place your fingers, ask, open his mouth a little bit and ask him to smile. Otherwise, just help. Just help. Analyze. Good job. Good job, everybody. No tap. Good stuff. We're doing good. Excellent job. Good job. Yes? So let's say yes. Yes. How do you do the yes? Ah. Yes. Good job. Can you help those who need help? Open the mouth. And yes. One more time. Open the mouth. Yes, good job. So, now we're going to add resistance to help tone the muscles. So, what will we do? Let's, hmm, your thumb and your index finger, right? Of the same hand. Place them in your mouth. And now, smile. And extend your tongue and your finger and your side so that there is resistance. Hold and relax. Easy? How would you do it? Take your thumb and your index finger, find your mouth, and smile, smile, smile. Relax. One more time, let's get it right. If you want to use two index fingers, that's fine with me. You, now you know what exactly is required, right? You're going to place your index fingers in your mouth. And smile, smile, and relax. Good job. Now let's help those of us who need a little assistance. Would you like to take their fingers or would you like to place your fingers in their mouth? I'll leave that totally up to you. So, and extend. And smile, and smile, and smile. And relax. We're going to do this again. We are going to place our fingers or their fingers in their mouth. Hold the position and now extend, 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 relax. 
fingers to step around the mouth, underneath, on your cheeks, on your eyes, on your forehead. Come back to your mouth. Come back to your mouth. Would you like to do the same for somebody who's sitting next to you? Take his fingers or, his, or your fingers, place them on your mouth, around your mouth, excellent, around his mouth, around his cheek, on his chin, on his nose, the sides, on his forehead. Good job. Very, very good. Good job. Good job. Now, good evening to those who just joined us. We are now going to complete this edition with our face yoga capsule. So the first exercise is our O. The O. How you do that? Open your mouth. And hold that position. Oh, and relax. Again, open your mouth. Hold the position. Oh, and relax. One more time. Open your mouth. Hold the position. Oh. Very good. One last time. Can you do that? Ah. Open your mouth. Hold the position. Oh. Relax. Now, if somebody needs help, let's let's work the O with them. What did I tell you last time? Use your fingers or their fingers and help them open their mouth. And Oh, hold it, hold our position. Try and extend as much as comfortable for them. Oh, relax. Can you try that again, please? Place your fingers around their mouth, place your fingers and help them open, ask them to open. Ah, oh, relax. One more time, please. Oh. Relax. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to do our favorite balloon mantra. So how do we go about that? First, you take an air in your cheeks, and you pull that air in your mouth. So let's do that. Now take your three fingers, place them on your lips, so the air does not come out. And there is pressure from within, resistance from within. Set, let's start. So open your mouth, take in air. Three fingers, place them on your mouth and breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And relax. Again. Open your mouth, fill your face with air. Three fingers on your lips and breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Now somebody can do it. Ask them to just fill in air. And you place your fingers on their mouth. If they're uncomfortable, that's okay. Just fill air and tell them to smile. Just tell them to smile. That's okay. And relax. Let's try it one more time. Ask them to open their mouth and fill in air. Place your three fingers if you can. If you can't, that's fine. And tell them to just smile. That's good, that's good. Good job. Absolutely good job. One more time. Let's try it one more time. Right. Yeah, 
and you deserve to tap your face. Excellent, 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 excellent. Good job, good job. Okay, then comes the cheek press. So how do we do that? We press our cheeks and then we smile. And relax. So how do we do that? We press our cheeks and we smile. And we one and two and three and four and five and six and relax. Good job. One more time. How do we do that? We press our cheeks and we smile and smile and smile. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it and relax. So, who needs help? Let's help them. Take their palms or take your palms, place them on the sides of their cheek, press, feel the muscles, and just smile. Tell them to smile. Ask him to smile. He'll smile. He wants to laugh. He can laugh. That's okay. Just smile. Just smile. Just smile. Just smile. And relax. We try that one more time. Let's try it one more time. Your fingers or their fingers, their palms. Face them. And smile. And smile. And smile. And relax. Take a just tap. Tap your cheeks, tap your cheese, tap on under the chin, tap your neck, tap. Good job. Tap your mouth. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, now. Oh, the eye. Dog ocline. They're also called the round muscles of the eyes. So, look up, look at the ceiling, up, 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 and down. Look up, look at the ceiling, up, 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 and down. One more time, look at the ceiling, up, 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 and down. One more time. Look at the ceiling, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. And relax. One more time. Look at the ceiling. Keep looking. Keep looking. And relax. Just stop. 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 Okay. So if somebody who needs help, ask them to look up. If you want, raise their eyebrows so they automatically start looking upwards. And relax. Try it again. Ask them to look up. Show your fingers. Show your hands. Ask them to look at the ceiling. And if they still need help, try and push gently their eyebrows upwards. And hold the position. And relax. Does that work for you? Let's try it one more time. Ask them to look up. Show them a spike. Show them something. Ask them to look up. Ask them to look up and relax. Yeah, good job. Just tap your eye. Just tap your eyebrows. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Now, oh yes, let's let's do the yes. Yes, yes is like a mantra. The autism face yoga edition mantra is yes. So how do you do it? Ah, yeah. And relax one more time. Ah, yes, good job, good job. You guys are really good. You want to help somebody? Sure, place. Yes, pull the corners of the now as much as you can to feel the pressure and relax. Stop. Okay, now. Finger, press your lips together and breathe. And relax. 
Good job. One more time. Press your lips together and then press your finger onto your lips so that there is a pressure. Let's try it together. Press your lips. And relax. One more time. Press. Lips together. Place your finger on your lips. Firmly. One, two, three, four. Relax. Let's help. Who needs help? Place his fingers on his lips and tell him to smile. To smile. Press your press his fingers firmly onto his lips and hold and hold and hold and hold and relax. One more time. Press his finger and if he wants to put four fingers, that's fine. Press the fingers and hold firmly hold and hold and hold and hold. Relax. Good job. Very good job. And now, look at the ceiling. Hold the position and say, yes. And relax. Can we do that together? Yes, we can. What do you do? Look up to the ceiling, up, up, up. And yes. And relax. One more time, please. Look up the ceiling. Yes. And relax. One last time. Look up. Yes. And relax. So let's help. Those who need help. Tilt their face. Tell them to look up to the ceiling. Open their mouth. Yes. Excellent. Again, tilt their face. Open their mouth. And yes. Can you do one last round? Open your mouth. And tilt it upwards. Mouth open. Yes, and relax. Take your hands, stack, up in your mouth, under your chin, in your leg. Feel good, feel refreshed. Yeah. Now take their, those who need help, take their hands, place them on their cheeks gently. This is called the feather massage. It's actually that is working on the various nerve endings. That's it. Feather massage technique. Okay. Place them hands under the chin, in the neck. Good job. Good job. Wonderful. Wonderful. So it's now time to say goodbye. Namaskar. I'm wishing you a wonderful December, a fabulous. New Year, and we will meet in 2022. Goodbye, and thank you for joining Autism Connect and myself, Mineral Fortness, on this wonderful journey. See you in 2023. Goodbye, and good luck.